morning welcome to wind song ah this is the rv this is our kitchen bathroom kind of area we got a little overhang i've been working on ah not too early in the morning it's kind of cold so the day starts slower right about it's snowing already this year so all the birds are around hanging out at our feeders out in front heading down for the chickens this morning so walk down to the chickens it's too bad in one Everything's spaced out out here. We have separate buildings, lots of stuff. <laughs> Over here is Callista's Playhouse behind the trees there. That's a uh, playhouse I picked up on Craigslist for 80 bucks, brought home and put back together. It's quite a feat, and she really enjoys it. It's 8 by 8 on a 10 by 10 deck. Oh, about 8, 9 foot in the air, so it's pretty nice. And there's our well power supply. And we're still hooked to the grid, of course. And here's the grandpa cabin with all of his firewood hanging out. So, yeah, now we have about a dozen chickens. We lost one a couple weeks ago to a coyote. <coughs> Forgot to shut the gate. So, uh, that's the basement that's no longer really being used. We got the storage sheds. Got our generator out so we can fire it up occasionally. Now we're down here to the chicken coops. So, and by the chicken coops, we've got quite a bit of woods area behind it. And let's display set. So, let's take a look at the coops and see what the chickens are up to. I don't know how to switch the camera when I'm in this. See if I can get it to go. No, well, it won't let me switch the camera. But, so, here's our chicken coop. Built this one with just a few sheets of plyboard. Well, OSB board. And some 2 by 6 I actually tore off a really big pallet that we had. So we had this big pallet. And we got it for free, and I took 2 by 6s off. Built a nice big chicken coop for chickens to hang out in. And they're all down in there. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. There's Sly, our rooster, up in the top. We got the heat lights on for him. It's been really cold lately. They're antsy to get out. I haven't let them out yet this morning. So, it'll look nice and comfy. It's pretty warm in there. And then around the back, we've got. That little thing there, that's just pine straw, pine needles. Uh, we use throw out in the coop area during the winter so they have something to walk on. And then we've got our straw straw for in the coops. And then around the back, we've got our laying boxes. You know, all that. I just put that on recently. And of course, now we've got a nice good morning and welcome to Fort Chicken. <laughs> So this is Fort Chicken, lovely place up in the middle of Windsong here. So I have over here the coop that I've been working on slowly but surely with oh upcycled materials, I guess they call it, I don't know, stuff I find and get for free. So I got some cedar shake roofing that I put on this. Now this is laid over top of some vinyl that was from a swimming pool size. I used that as my underlayment, just keep the water off of this. And then I took and, of course, on this one, I messed up. I hadn't done a cedar shake anything, and I put this one on backwards. It's actually weird looking, so. But I got the other sides all nice. Don't have enough to fix it and repair it the right way. Oh, well. But these are their land boxes. I built this coop all from scratch and materials. The only thing I did buy was, uh, no, I didn't buy screws for this. I bought just the ply board there. You see the ply boards I got. Those actually worked for them. I'm digging a septic tank. So inside we have our chickens here. We have the white one here. This is Buffy. The other yellow one over there is Goldie. This is one of our favorites. This is Lacey. She's a golden laced. 
and then we have Sly. He's a silver lace. He's our rooster. We got him caged off. They keep eating his tail. So we got to let his tail grow back in so he can look really awesome again. Feathers are coming. This is so it's winter. But yep. And so yeah, we've got some buff Orpingtons. We've got some. Our Americana got ate by a coyote, but we got some black Australopes and stuff. So, but yeah, this is the coop I'd built. And, a nice little door. I've covered the vent for winter, but I have a wood that comes out of that so they get air. This house over here that we got was an old pump house that I got off the side of the road. Pretty much as is. I put a hole in the door for the chickens to come in and out. This is now their dust bath. This was one of their original coops. They've been moving up. I've got air vents. As you can see, i got a board up in that one. i got this one open still. i got to keep air for the chickens. This is one of our latest creations. The A-frame. Ooh, I almost fell down. I want to fall into the chicken poop. So I built that out of an old crate back there. That was just an old crate. I took some pallet uh, wood and put around the sides, made it look neat, just something for them to get in. And then I took some pool covers, old pool covers from a pool we got for free. And I uh, took a bunch of trees that were dead, standing up out here in the woods, and I built them into an A-frame for the chickens. They got a couple little roosting bars in the back. This is where their food will go, and we have a water jug. Keep it out of the snow. And then the back door. And then this over here is a dog house we're working on. The roof's leaking right now, so we've got a plastic tote cover on it. And then that's the old plastic box that was the cage for our chickens when we first got them. When they were just little, there was a red plastic coop that went with it. It was horrible. And this is the chicken's yard. They roam around out here. We do let our chickens free range out. We don't keep them in this cage all day, every day. They get to go outside and play. And then they come back in at the end of the day. Say hi, Sly. You gonna crow for me this morning? No, oh, yeah, he's been mad at us because he can't get to his ladies. So... You girls have a great morning. No, we're not coming outside now. And then, of course, I built a new gate. Like I said, this is all hand me down. The, the actual fencing is posts that I pulled out from throughout the property. The fence Wendy had found on the side of the road. So, and then these concrete stubs that we've got all the way around the bottom to help block them in because they like to dig out. I drug up from out in the woods over there. So, our big pile of pine straw for, for on the ground to keep their feet from being cold. And we got straw, regular straw under there for the coops. Here comes Leo Cat. Are you out in the woods hunting, sir? So, and this is Fort Chicken, Callista's Playhouse. Or play set. And up here's where we feed the deer. They love to come in too.